Here we're going to look at a nice problem from the Chilean Mathematical Olympiad. This is from the 2011 edition. So it's a nice little number theory problem. We want to find all A, B, and C, which are natural numbers. And we've got them ordered like this just to cut down on the number of solutions. So 1 is less than or equal to A, which is less than or equal to B, which is less than or equal to C, such that the sum of their reciprocals is equal to 3 quarters. So we've got 1 over A plus 1 over B plus 1 over C equals 3 quarters. So I haven't written any hints on the board, but maybe I'll just say some hints because this is a pretty quick solution. So what you want to do is find some bounds on A, B, and C. And after you've found some bounds on A, B, and C, it's actually pretty straightforward to just check by cases. So maybe like pause the video right here and give that a go, and then um, unpause it and we'll look at a solution. All right, let's get to it. <clears throat> so the first thing that I want to notice is that if A is bigger than or equal to 5, then we have B and C are also bigger than or equal to 5. But then taking the reciprocal, we'll have 1 over C is less than or equal to 1 over B is less than or equal to 1 over A, which is less than or equal to 1 over 5. So here, 1 over A is now the biggest of all of those. And they're all smaller than a fifth. Now what I want to notice is that that means that 1 over A plus 1 over B plus 1 over C is going to be less than or equal to, well, 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5, which is 3 over 5, but that is strictly less than 3 quarters. But what that immediately tells us is that there are no solutions with A bigger than or equal to 5. So that really cuts down on the values of A that we're going to have to check. So we'll have to check A equals 4, 3, and 2. Notice we will not need to check A equals 1 because if we have A equals 1, then we've got 1 over here on the left-hand side of the equation, but then we cannot add two things to it to get 3 quarters. So maybe we'll also point that out real quick. So also, no solutions with a equals one. And so that's pretty clear because if a equals one, then we have one over a plus one over b plus one over c is going to be bigger than or equal to one, but that is strictly bigger than three quarters. Good. So now let's just work through this case by case. So maybe we'll do case number one will be if a equals four. So now if A equals 4, that means that 1 over B plus 1 over C is equal to 3 quarters minus 1 quarter. In other words, it's equal to 1 half. Great. Now we want to do the same kind of game on a bound for B. So notice if B is bigger than or equal to 5, well, that's going to make 1 over C less than or equal to 1 over B, which is less than or equal to 1 over 5. But now that's going to make 1 over B plus 1 over C less than or equal to 2 fifths, which is strictly less than 1 half, which is exactly what we need it to be equal to in order to have a new solution here. So that means B cannot be bigger than or equal to 5. So notice that B has to be bigger than or equal to A, which in this case is 4, and it has to be strictly less than 5. So that means B has to be equal to 4. But now if B equals 4, that immediately implies that C is also equal to 4, because we only have one degree of freedom at this point. And so that gives us our first solution, which is A equals B equals C equals 4. Now we're going to move on and check the other cases when A is 3 and 2. So let's go ahead and do that. So, so far we have shown that there are only solutions possible if A is equal to 2, 3, or 4. And we showed that if A was equal to 4, then B and C were also equal to 4, and that gave us our only solution in that setup. So now we want to look at the remaining two cases. So case number 2 is A equals 3. So now notice if A equals 3, then that's going to make 1 over B plus 1 over C equal to 3 quarters minus 1 third. But that's going to be equal to 7 over 12. Now we're going to play the same game that we did on the last board. But now I want to notice that if B is bigger than or equal to 4, then that makes 
one over C less than or equal to one over B less than or equal to one over four, but then one over B plus one over C is less than or equal to a half, but a half is strictly less than seven over 12. So that means there are no solutions with A equal to three and B bigger than or equal to four. But then since B is bigger than or equal to A, then that means our only possibility for B is three itself. But then if B is equal to three, well, you can easily check, then that's gonna make C equal to 12. And so we've got a new solution, and that solution is gonna be A equals B equals three, and then C equals 12. Great. Now we're gonna move on to our last case. So case number three, so that's gonna be A equals two. So now if A equals two, then we're gonna get one over B plus one over C equals three quarters minus a half, so that's equal to one quarter. And now we can see that, well, you can take half of one quarter and split it up between uh, one over B and one over C, and notice that an eighth will work. So one over eight plus one over eight is one over a quarter, so B equals C equals eighth works. And that's like one of our edge cases. And so what we'll wanna show is that if B is bigger than eight, then we don't have a solution. And furthermore, if B is equal to four, then we're also gonna not have a solution, and that's gonna be right on the edge of possibility as well. So here I wanna claim that in this setup, in other words, the A equals two setup, that we're going to have B between five and eight. And so we can see that pretty quickly. So notice if B is less than or equal to four, then that's gonna make one over B bigger than or equal to one over four. But then one over B plus one over C will be strictly bigger than one over four, but that's not gonna work up here. And then similarly, if B is bigger than or equal to nine, then that means that one over C is going to be less than or equal to one over B, which is less than or equal to one over nine. But then that's gonna make one over B plus one over C less than or equal to two over nine, which is strictly less than one quarter. So it doesn't work if B is less than or equal to four. It doesn't work if B is bigger than or equal to nine. That means B has to be between five and eight. And now we just check each of these individually. So notice if you get B equals five, then just simple arithmetic tells you that C has to be equal to 20. And then next, if B is equal to six, then simple arithmetic here will show you that C has to be equal to 12. And finally, if B equals eight, well, then you can check that C also has to be equal to eight. That's the edge case that we discussed earlier. And I wanna point out here that um, the B equals seven case has no solution because that would imply that C was equal to 28 over seven, but that's clearly not a natural number. Good, so that finishes the solution here. Maybe you guys can try a similar problem. We could tweak this a little bit to be one over A plus one over B plus two over C plus three over D equals five over seven. So see if we can find any solutions for that. And that's a good place to stop.